greatest concerns for the church in America, let alone America, is that we have no idea. We have no idea what is coming. We just are going about business as usual. I want to thank Unfazed, unmoved, untouched. Even by the number of Christian brothers and sisters who are being murdered, martyred for their faith in Jesus Christ in the Middle East. These are my countrymen. These are my fellow Arab brothers and sisters in Egypt and Libya and church is just asleep. We're so concerned about our lives in this world. We've got our roots down too deep in this world. And I think it breaks the heart of God. And I don't mean this to in any way be condemning. Convicting, yes. Condemning, no. If you've never called upon the name of the Lord, confessing with your mouth and believing in your heart, I implore you to do so. Now is the time. Now is the day. Today is the day. And conversely, and I know that I speak to more, those of us who do know the Lord and are walking with the Lord, then I would implore you to be like the men of Issachar, whom were told, understood the times they were living in, and they knew what to do about it. They understood the times, and they knew what to do. You know, when you go into the doctor, and the doctor says, you've got six months, you better get your affairs in order. I would say, what if we don't have six months? Are your affairs in order? Is there any unfinished business you have that you need to deal with? I hope that you'll allow the Lord to really do that deep searching in your heart and mine as well I with you have really found myself as of late just putting myself as a living sacrifice on the altar just saying okay God everything anything whatever it is I'm yours and it is a, a death to self. It is a picking up of one's cross and following him. And maybe that day for you is today that you just need to come and posture yourself before the Lord humbly in complete surrender. And when you do, you can be assured that the Lord will baptize you anew and fill you afresh with the Holy Spirit. And that's where the power comes in. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how Christians in this late hour in which we're living are going to be able to survive <laughs> in the days ahead without the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit. If you've never been baptized in the Holy Spirit, I would encourage you today to ask the Lord to baptize you in the Holy Spirit. Lord, will you now 
by way of the Holy Spirit. Meet us here in this place and in this time. My sense is, is that there's something that you desire to do in our midst today. And Lord, we want to get out of your way so that you can have your way with us. Do with us as you please, Lord. We are yours. Thank you, in Jesus' name.